Hey guys, in today's tutorial we're going to be making a typewriter effect for UI within Unity. And let's say that you have a block of text that you want to be printed out on the screen character by character as if you were typing it. Um, we are going to be able to take in a regular text UI object as well as text mesh pro text and be able to do all of that. Uh, the rest of this video we're going to be talking about some control parameters by setting how fast each character gets displayed on the screen, if you want to have a delayed time before the typing actually happens, and if you want to have some sort of leading character as if you were typing on a word processor, kind of like you see here, this pipe character, or some fancy Unicode character. You could possibly do that too with this code. So why don't we dive into that? And um, there's a link below in this video in the description for where you can download this script. It's only one simple script and we'll go through it. So let's say that you have a scene that has some text elements. And so this top one is a text mesh pro text element. And this is just a simple text element. Of course, these are all on top of a canvas object and they have different text. There's no other components that I've added to them. So let's start by looking at a text mesh pro object first. And I've already typed in some text here. You can see this welcome to text mesh pro game. And if we were to just hit simply play, then those elements are displayed. Easy peasy. But now let's go and add this typewriter UI component. And I can just drag it onto it from into the in hierarchy. Ooh. Hierarchy. Great. There we go. And there's the typewriter UI component. And you can see that there's some fields that are available to you. Display before delay before start time between characters, leading character, and leading character before delay. Uh, let's start from the top. This one is the amount of time before uh, we start adding the characters one by one. And if you just leave it at zero, then it's just going to immediately start adding characters. The time between characters is obviously, let's say that we're just typing out the words welcome. It's going to go W wait 0.1 seconds and then add the E and then the L. And uh, that seems pretty straightforward. Hopefully that makes sense. And so at this moment, without changing anything, let's go ahead and hit play. And it's going to immediately start typing and wait 0.1 seconds to type out each individual character. When it's finished, it just stops. And if we look at it again, let's say that we want to have a delay before the start. Let's add one second. We'll type in one and it's going to wait one second before starting typing it out. Pretty straightforward. And let's say that we want to have a time between characters increased so that it's now a quarter of a second. I type in 0.25. Now each character is going to take a little bit longer before getting added. If there is a space in your original text, it's going to take that time too to type out that space. This leading character is an interesting one because it's kind of goes back to the word processing days and um, we're familiar, let's say that we have this text thing, we have this pipe object, we can do the same thing too over here. So if we go to, oops, let's close all that. Uh, let's go to here and let's type in a leading character. Right now it's blank, so it's not going to display anything. But let's say that we want to add that pipe. This is the character right below delete. And if I hit shift pipe, then you can see it displayed in the field. And once it starts typing, you'll notice that that pipe is going to be in that area, as if you were um, typing that out. You can have any type of regular character if you want. Let's say that we have an angle bracket or if we want to in add a space to it, you can have a space or two characters, three characters. You can have any number of characters in there and that should be displayed when you have that script working. So if you want to have more than one character, that's great. If you want to have a pipe, that's great too. Maybe you want to have a couple spaces. You can do that thing. You can do that as well.
in some games having these extra spaces may not make sense but obviously make decisions on um these design questions that make sense for your game another thing that you can use is this option of having the lead character before the delay so as if you had this board processor type of effect happening and you have that pipe you can have that pipe be displayed even before you start typing so right now it's not getting checked and it just displays um, let's hit this checkbox and so in the time before it starts to start typing it'll automatically show that leading character and then we start typing hopefully that makes sense um, let's do one last option uh, just a reminder we can use some other fancier leading characters um, namely some Unicode characters. Not all Unicode characters are going to work, but I'll have a link below in the description of this video as well as in the script where you can go and find some Unicode characters. Um, let's, let's find an example. So um, let's go back here and bring up this web page. Let's say that we want to have maybe this fancy uh, cross section. What you would do is not copy the Unicode code, but just highlight it and you can right click and hit copy or you can on a Windows machine control C on a Mac con command C. So I'm just going to copy that character and I can type that into the leading character field. So if I paste it in there and I see that it's visible in there, then it's going to be that leading character for me. Right now the font is set to um, italics and so let's turn that to just regular um, non italic styling and you can see that that's the way it gets displayed there are some other ones that you can use too so do um, fool around with this website and find one that makes sense to you and please note that some of these characters do not get displayed and you'll you'll be able to know let's say that we want this fancy L1 if you copy and try to paste it into the field and it doesn't show up in this leading character field, then that's letting you know that, oh, Unity doesn't know how to display that. Um, we can find alternatively something else that could work. Let's say that we want something like this, this lower quarter block. We can try that one. This will be my last attempt. And you can do your own research on that. So you can see that that does get displayed. And when we hit play, then it, that should be drawn. Oh, so not all ones, even though they do, do show up on the field, will be displayed. So that's that's interesting to know. I, I tried before making this video a few of these ones, and most of them had worked. But a note that your your mileage may vary. This one, coincidentally, does work. So not all of them work. Please please test it out before you go into production. Uh, one last thing is let's go and let's test this out into the regular text object. And it's, the experience is going to be exactly the same thing. Your stylings are going to remain the way that you have them set in the text component. And the typewriter component is just changing when it gets displayed. So just like the experience for the, the text mesh pro it's the exact same script. It's just going to know that you're going to be using a text object versus a text mesh pro object. You should apply this script to the object itself. And let's set a display, a delay time of one second. And let's have these characters get displayed every half second. And we're going to use a space and um, greater, greater than sign. And we're going to have that greater than sign be displayed in this box. There you go. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please like and subscribe to this channel. I am going to be posting more videos um, more actively. And uh, let me know if you have a, um, have a question or a set of questions, maybe a tutorial that you're looking for, something, some nagging questions that you haven't been able to solve. I'd like to help you guys. And please just drop it into the, into the comments. See ya.